Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So, I'm finally filming the question and answer. Took long enough, I apologize. Also, my hair is blue. Things have changed around here. I dyed my hair blue like a month ago maybe. It's kind of fading. I redo it every now and then, but yeah, my hair is blue now. It's not forever, don't worry. You guys know I change my hair fairly often. So today, I'm finally answering all the questions you guys sent me over like the past two months. I posted this in January and I'm finally just filming it now. I got like 50 questions. I'm gonna answer most of them, so let's just get right into it. All right, question one. Jones Emma asks, what has been your favorite trip you've ever been on so far? P.S. Just started watching your videos and I absolutely love them. Your family is hilarious, XOXO. Uh -huh. Favorite trip? Oh my gosh, that's a good question. I think I have a tie. I think my two favorite trips would have to be the one we just went on which was Christmas because we were there for like the, literally the best holiday ever and we were in the most magical place ever. We just did so many cool things. And my second favorite, well not even second favorite, they're a tie. The one that I think was just as good was also my 21st birthday because I got to experience Disney World as like a real adult that can drink alcohol. So that was cool. Drinking around the world, drinking at like all the bars and stuff. And celebrating your birthday in Disney is like nothing else. There's nowhere better to celebrate your birthday, honestly. Even just all the cast members, like they make you feel so special. You really don't get that kind of special feeling anywhere else. Nobody goes as above and beyond as Disney World does. So I think my 21st birthday trip and this past trip that we took for Christmas slash New Year's those were the, the top trips. All right, question number two. Vanessa.ox asks, when was the first time you went to Disney? Also, when was it when you decided to start vlogging? And will it be possible if I can hang out with you? Oh, you're so sweet. The first time I went to Disney, I was two years old, so I don't remember it. There's pictures, so that's really the only recollection that I have. When did I decide to start vlogging? I'm gonna look right now when my first YouTube video is posted. It's horrible and I hope nobody watches it, but I am going to keep it up forever so that I can look back on the progress that I've made through the years, getting a real camera, like not using my iPhone for four years ago. So that was 2015. I was using my little white plastic MacBook to edit and sometimes to take videos too. All right, question number three from Savannah Justin 22 Have you considered making another channel and doing daily vlogs of your everyday life? What is your favorite resort slash hotel you've stayed at in Disney? So I have thought about making a separate channel. If I ever did decide to do daily vlogs, I definitely wouldn't put them on my Disney channel. I would definitely have a separate channel because I know that there's a lot of people that are subscribed to my channel only because it's Disney and like they really don't care to see what I do in my everyday life and I get that. That's totally cool. People don't watch daily vlogs. I think I'm gonna wait and see if this channel like picks up a little more. My favorite resort, oh, that's a tie too. I have, even in life, I have such a hard time picking one favorite thing. So that's gonna be a tie too. I would definitely say the Grand Floridian and the Polynesian. And they're two very different resorts. Like the Polynesian is very like islandy and like you literally feel like you're on an island. Whereas the Grand Floridian is more upscale and like more, um, more grand, I guess. Okay, next question it's from Disney for the day. When is your next trip? Will you guys ever do another epic long trip again? Thanks for sharing your trip with us. Our next trip we technically don't have planned yet. We'll probably return back in the summertime like we always do, but we don't have any set plans for another trip yet. But we will be announcing it as soon as we make our, our plans and book everything. Yes, most of our trips are super long. I don't even know. I think this past trip was the longest. That was exactly a month. We were there August 1st through September 1st, so that was pretty crazy. I don't know if our next trip is going to be a month long, but it will definitely be probably like three, four weeks. Next question. Oops, I haven't been saying the people. Sorry. Okay, next question is from Adriana. She said, what is your home resort for DVC and what is your favorite memory with your family from any of your Disney trips? Our home resort is the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Fun fact, we've never actually stayed there. As most of you guys know, my dad doesn't really like Animal Kingdom that much, so Animal Kingdom Lodge really doesn't, it's not his cup of tea, so we've never stayed there. Favorite memory, I think, my favorite memory would be coming back to Disney with my dad like once he got his prosthetic leg and he was able to walk and everything. I think that was 
my favorite memory just because we took two trips without him and that was that was really sad because I'd never been to Disney without my dad before it's always a family thing he didn't want us to miss out on our trip and especially for my 21st birthday that's all I wanted to do for my birthday and he didn't want me to miss out but it was definitely sad going to Disney without my dad just because I grew up since I was two years old going to Disney World with my dad every single year so I think that would be my favorite memory was finally going back to Disney as a family okay next three questions are from Lila she says what's your favorite color What's your favorite Disney movie and favorite ride? My favorite color, can't pick a favorite. I like yellow, red, blue, purple, pink. Yeah, those are like my top five. I can't pick just one though, but I really do like blue. But I really like yellow and I don't know. Oh gosh, I, I'm not good at favorites. My favorite Disney movie, that's a good question. All my favorite like Disney movies are all Pixar movies. So I'm gonna say two Pixar movies. Um, Monsters Inc. and the Incredibles. I could watch those movies all day every day like I just love them like I could pretty much recite the entire movie they're just great movies I just love them this next question is from always today please tell me how you get your lashes to look so fire I use the Too Faced mascara it's a little pink tube it was in my last video that I posted to get ready with me I swear by it I've tried a million other mascaras and nothing will ever compare another question from always today how many times have you auditioned if any to work for Disney I've auditioned for Disney 13 or 14 times I've done parade performer I've done character performer face character dancer auditions I've done pretty much every audition besides like stunt but yeah I've done lots of Disney auditions most of the time I did make it to the last round but it's hard to get hired if you don't have a Florida address and I obviously live in New York right now another question from always today do you want to work for Disney and do you have other aspirations for the future I would love to work for Disney even if it's just like a year contract just to get it out of my system just to say I did it because I wanted to do it for so long definitely a goal of mine other future aspirations so I'm actually a professional dancer I teach dance I perform I choreograph I do everything with dance and I also model I act but I would say for my dance career I would really like to book like a big tour with like a big music artist definitely keep my acting career going I was upgraded to a principal role on a new Comedy Central show called Alternatino so stay tuned for that I just got a speaking role it's very hard to get lines on a TV show especially if you're not union so because of this I am now eligible to join the actors union so that's also a possibility for the future I do a lot of backup dancing I do a lot of music videos like live stage performances I just continue that and see where it takes me I am going on tour with Justina Valentine I don't know when this video is gonna come out so I might have already been on tour but for anyone who knows Knows Justina Valentine from Wild and Out. She's got the crazy long red hair. She's hilarious. She's such a good person. So I'm going on tour with her. We're touring the country. I don't know exactly what shows I'm doing and which places I'm being sent out to, but I'm pretty much on hold. And I could pretty much be flown out to any part of the country, any day, any time. I'm kind of just waiting and so continuing to do what I do and just keep working. And then when that comes up, I will take that. This next question is from Jocelyn Maddie. What's your favorite Disney park? I have to say Magic Kingdom, but Hollywood Studios is a close second. But Magic Kingdom's the OG park. Like, Cinderella's Castle's there. Like, how can you not say Magic Kingdom? I'm gonna say Magic Kingdom. I'll pick a favorite for that one. What is your favorite non-attraction park activity and your favorite after-hours spot in Disney? Non-attraction. I don't know if this counts as an attraction. It probably does. I love the Festival of the Lion King show and I love the Beauty and the Beast show. I mean, it's not a ride. I'm just gonna say that. I don't know if that counts as an attraction. It probably does. Sorry. My favorite after hours spot in Disney? Probably the castle, honestly, because I feel like after hours there aren't that many people there and that's like the best time to like take pictures in front of the castle and I could literally just stand there and look at the castle like, especially when there's no people and it's like not crowded and stuff okay this next question is from Laura she asks is there anything you haven't done at any of the parks and what is your favorite ride the only thing that I really hadn't done up until this past trip was mission space but I did that I think we pretty much done everything there might be like some little show or a little like thing we haven't done I mean, I'm sure there's multiple things we haven't done, but I think there's nothing major that I can think of that we've never done. But up until this past year, it was Mission Space. Question in from Morgan Miller, what is your favorite Disney ride? My favorite ride is Tower of Terror. I am so completely obsessed with that ride. I can recite the entire thing from start to finish, like all the words. Let me know if you guys would like a video of me reciting every single thing in Tower of Terror. Like just for fun. 
I would totally post that on YouTube. I've tarped her backpacks, bags, shirts, sweatshirts, phone cases. This next question is from Christina Mackey. She said, a question for you is any fashion and makeup tips for the parks because you legit look perfect in every video. Oh, you're so sweet. Lots of setting spray. Setting spray is definitely a lifesaver. It just glues your makeup onto your face, especially when you're sweating, going on water rides and everything. Also, the Laura Mercier setting powder is wonderful. That holds your makeup on super, super well. It just gives it like an overall, like really nice finish. But I really just wear like BB cream every day to the parks. I really don't wear like foundation or like any crazy eye makeup. I literally just wear like mascara and like do my eyebrows and stuff. I'd say just like get some good settings for me. I recommend Kat Von D, Urban Decay, Morphe. Those are all really good ones to really like lock in your makeup. So this next question is from Train Doodle. What are the keys to scoring 999999 on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin? So there's certain targets that are 100,000 points. Really don't want to give it away because my mom and dad don't know either, but um, I'll just say that there's certain targets that are 100,000 points each. So you have to get, obviously, like at least eight of those and then just shoot a bunch of random things after. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, this next question is from Ashley. She said, I asked one on the vlog before last. Would love for you to answer. Basically a breakdown of your experiences with dessert parties and extra ticketed events and if you find them worth it. Also, if you find DVC and club level rooms worth it as well. Would love for fun for you to list your favorite and least favorite rides per park and dining for each. Dessert parties, I think, are amazing. They are definitely pricey and you are only getting dessert. But I think the dessert parties that are more worth it, especially if you have a lot of adults in the party, um, are the ones that serve alcohol. We really haven't done many other ticketed events besides like the Christmas party, which is absolutely worth it. DVC, I don't know exactly how it works that well. My parents pretty much deal with that and I'm just a member because they are. But club level rooms I think are absolutely worth it because you literally just get unlimited food and drinks and alcohol all day long and you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to tip anybody. Like they cannot even take tips. I definitely say that the club level rooms are worth it. Maybe I'll make a separate video listing like my favorite to least favorite rides and dining in each park. Let me know if you guys would like to see that too. Okay, this next question is from Life with Brie. She said, when will your next Disney trip be? I love your videos so much and I'm so sad that we won't get vlogs for a while. Aw. Our next trip isn't planned, probably in the summertime though. So expect some vlogs, hopefully soon. That's the bad part about having like a Disney vlog channel is like you really only get to vlog when you're in Disney. We miss them too. I miss making them, we all miss filming them, I miss editing them, like I miss everything. Okay, this next one is from beauty lover ak she said okay first of all my sister and i love your family we basically live our dream disney vacation through your guys's videos we look forward to every time you post we are actually visiting disney world this august and we're so excited we wanted to ask what are five of your favorite things to do in disney world that my family and i should do what is your favorite resort to stay in and what are five of your favorite places to eat five favorite things to do in disney world tower of terror all the fireworks shows beauty and the beast and festival lion king show rock and roller coaster monorail those are just off the top of my head i'm sure if i sat here for longer and like thought about it like favorite resort to stay in is definitely polynesian and grand floridian favorite places to eat i love 50s prime time i love the crystal palace i love chef mickey's those are my top three okay danielle nelson asked who started your family's love for disney definitely my parents they went twice when they were married before they had me and then they had me and then they brought me and now everybody loves it so my parents. <laughs> okay, Rachel Turner said, my daughter Kaylin, who's six years old, wants to know when you'll be back in Disney and if you would be able to meet her. We will be there August 19th through the 29th. If we are there, I will absolutely come meet your daughter. I would love to meet Kaylin. That's just the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. I hope we're there so I can meet her. This next question is from Melanie. She said, love all your vlogs. My fiance proposed to me back in September at the Magic Kingdom. Oh my gosh. We'll be going back to Disney on our honeymoon next year. Which resort do you think would be best for us to stay at? Also, would you be interested in doing a Disney cruise? We are thinking about a few nights on a cruise and then two weeks at Disney World. I think that is such a good plan. I would recommend the Grand Floridian for you guys. Or Polynesian. <laughs> the cruise and the Disney trip sounds amazing because it's the best of both worlds. The cruise would be like more relaxing. You're on a ship and you're 
traveling so it's like a little more relaxed and then like the parks and everything like when you're in Disney is obviously very like crazy and everything so that would be like a good little breakup and it's still Disney the whole time this next question is from Brooklyn girl she said was wondering if you plan to audition for Disney also what is yours and your family's favorite resort pool that's a good question I already just spoke about the Disney audition thing favorite pool honestly I like the Bay Lake or contemporary pool that's like right on the water because when the boats go by the pool literally like rocks because it's on the water but I do also love the lava slide at the Polynesian and I like the water park at the Grand Floridian there's too many okay this next question is from Nick and he asks what place would you want to move to and why obviously Disney who wouldn't want to live in Disney but if it's not Disney I would say maybe like New York City or like Maybe LA. I don't know, it depends on like where my career takes me. If I move, it would probably be for my career. Okay, this next question is from Katie. She said, first of all, just wanted to say how my sister and I are obsessed with you and your fam. My question is, what do you and your fam do for work? I'm an annual pass holder and I've looked into DVC enough to know how expensive it is. You're living my dream life, staying at all the deluxe resorts, so I'm loving these vlogs because I can live vicariously through you. Also curious as to why you don't fly to Disney. I live upstate New York. I can't imagine not flying to Florida. Whenever I see you post on my feed, I get so excited, so I can't wait for your next trip. Aw, I already talked about the whole like work thing. So my mom, my brother, and I have this problem with our ears. Pretty much the pressure doesn't clear on the plane. It just causes a lot of pain and like could rupture our eardrums and stuff. Pretty scary. So we just choose not to fly. We drive instead or take the Amtrak. What is your favorite Disney restaurant? Have you ever been to the Character Warehouse? What are your thoughts on it, if so? Love the Disney vlogs, keep up the good work. I would have to say Chef Mickey's just because there's so many characters, like all the OG characters, and like the food is so good, there's so many options, and like the monorail goes right by, like right above you. So I would definitely say Chef Mickey's. Yes, we went to the Character Warehouse a few times. Um, it was in some of my vlogs, I don't know which ones. I think it's awesome. They have so much stuff that they sell in the parks for full price that they just took off the shelves or just stopped making or whatever. And you can get them for less than half the price. And it's just so cool. I would highly, highly recommend going there to everybody. This next question is from Nicole. She said, would love to hear your audition stories. You're an amazing dancer and would love to see you dancing down Main Street one day. Oh, that makes me so happy. Yeah, if you guys want a video on my audition stories, I would definitely consider making that. Let me know in the comments if you want one of those videos. This next question is from Abigail. She said, another wonderfully sweet video. My question is, why are you not working at Disney? So as I said before, I've auditioned a bunch of times and it's pretty much just me not having a Florida address. And I also have a lot going on in New York that I'm not ready to give up just yet. My career with like my friends and everything, like I'm just not ready to like let all that go just yet. There's so much happening, so. It is the Disney College program in your future? So I actually stopped going to college. I went to college for a year. Decided that it wasn't for me at the moment. I eventually would like to return, at least get my associate's degree. If I do go back to college, the Disney College program could be an option, but personally, I think I'd rather just work there full time and just dance. Loved your videos as usual, thank you. So when is that big move to Florida? Will you do videos at all the parks in the Orlando area or just stick to Disney? Anyway, be safe on your adventures and stay warm. The big move to Florida, we don't really know yet. I think if we move there, we'll probably get like Universal passes. So maybe I'll vlog Universal. I'm not really sure. It's just a surprise for you and I both. Can you do a makeup tutorial? I did a get ready with me, which is like a Disney get ready with me, but I definitely have been thinking about doing like a real makeup tutorial for like real makeup. Not even glam, just like real foundation, like real eye makeup, like whatever. Would you ever go on a Disney cruise? My fiance and I are thinking about doing a cruise along with the parks for our honeymoon. We got engaged last September at the Magic Kingdom. Love your vlogs. Congratulations on being engaged and I hope you guys enjoy your honeymoon. I would definitely do a Disney cruise, which I haven't gotten to yet, honestly. That's definitely something I would like to do in the future though. All right guys, that is it for this question and answer. Thank you guys for watching. I had so much fun answering all your questions. Let me know in the comments any other videos you guys wanna see, anything you wanna see when I'm not in Disney, any recommendations you have for my channel, whatever it is. Please leave me comments. I read every single one of them. I respond to every single one of them. Thank you guys for taking your time to like send in questions to me and like having an interest in my life and like even my life outside of Disney. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll stay until the day I die. You guys just make me very happy. So I will see you real soon. Have a magical day. And yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching my question and answer. Also, when... Nope.
Nope. Hey guys, what's up? No. I asked one on the vlog before. Ugh. It's 65 degrees in New York right now. It's the end of March. Did not know it was gonna be this hot. I'm in a flannel right now and I'm sweating. Whoa, I'm sweating. I need to turn on the AC, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I just started, I just started. Uh, yeah, that's a great word. Today, we are going to finally, we, who's we? I don't know. There's a Corvette. That's gonna disrupt my video. I have three, and so note to myself, so put that with the other one, thanks, cool. I'm filming a YouTube video right now in the mall parking lot. 